Hello there, everyone. This is Quiver C, and welcome back to more Resident Evil. We have gotten a nice chunk done in the last couple of bits, exploring the vast majority of the first floor, gaining access to two different keys, one of which we have used all the way through. The other one, we still have at least one door we haven't opened with yet, as well as having the ability to get ourselves a shotgun. And then there's these things here, a wooden mountain missing music which we found in the bar room with the piano and i'm not exactly sure what to do with a lot of that stuff either way we ended up before with a wide variety of things that can be done but i think that the first thing i need to do is go heal and i think i'm gonna use those green herbs growing on the terrace which was through this door i think I've kind of forgotten about how to get to a lot of the rooms I need to get to. Which is not good. <laughs> I also need to make some space so I can go pick up that herbicide, because we did run into the, a killer plant. At least I assume it's killer. Either way, it's alive, and it looked like it was trying to get me. And I think we're going to need the herbicide for that. Anyways, use the herbs. You've treated your wounds. Worth full health, and there still seem to be herbs there. So that's good. It did say a few uses, not just one. All right, anyway. Um. Oh wait, it was this button, right. So, I'm gonna check that door that's other direction. I don't remember if I've checked that door since getting the armor key. But I'm going to go check that door now that I've got it. And I'm thinking about it. It is locked. It's a helmet lock. Okay. Couldn't remember. Going downstairs. Actually, I think this is where one of the areas I went to near the end of the last one. All right. So what's through here again? Is this... This is... Oh, this is where I got the... Is this where I got the fake shotgun? Wait. Item box? Oh my lord! I... Oh, baby! Okay. This is huge. There are several kinds of serum here. I don't think I've ever been in this room. Another... Yeah, there's another typewriter. Okay. A well-used bed. So this is literally a safe room. Pills and elixirs you've never seen. Many of them have changed colors. Ooh, okay. A safe room with an item box that I can put stuff in and... Oh. I... I am happy now. So yeah, I put the wooden mount and the... um and the music in there since I don't know what to do with those yet. But more importantly, um, I also have a first aid spray and some more ink ribbons. Nothing about cleaning products. Okay, I've already seen this. Uh, I'd rather not waste anything on this dude. I am running kind of low on ammo. I've literally just got two spare bullets in my one um, spare magazine. And uh, that plus what's in the gun is all I've got. I don't remember this. The candlestick shines coldly in the moonlight. Have I been here? Yeah, I've been here. But there is a door I have not been through. And it's this way. Through here. So it lies through this door. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow lights. Okay. So... The only, as, as I see the word blue, I think of the blue gemstone from the dining room, which I haven't picked up this round. But it sounds like there might be another gem that I'm going to need to get. I'm actually pretty close to the dining room. What's in this room again? Is this the room with the closet? Or is this the room that had the broken shotgun? Closet! Definitely closet! Go away! No, 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 oh, this way. 
<laughs> All right then. It actually seems like the stun gun it might not be as. It seems like what the stun gun does. It doesn't knock them down like the dagger does. It just like staggers them periodically, which could be better or worse depending on the situation. Anywho, I'm gonna go on ahead and get the blue gem to put into that tiger. I could also grab the emblem and put it in the box, but I don't really see a need. I should probably also go out of my way to grab the herbicide. Uh, that's kind of on the opposite side of the building. There's also that hallway that had the dog in it that's showing red, which means that there's an item in there I can get. So let's do that. And I will just uh, shoot the dog if I need to. Was it the big door or the little door? Well, wait. Okay, yeah, no, it's the big door and then it's a little door. That's what it is. So somewhere in this room, in this hallway, is something I can get. Various sculptures and bits of pottery. Okay, that's not it. I hear the dog's footsteps. Can I... I can push this. But to what end? I'm, I'm resetting the room. <laughs> I want to reset the room because, like, I don't know. I feel like I might have messed something up by pushing that cabinet towards the wall. So I wanted to reset it. Oh, wait a second. Hey, it's a dagger. Nice. But there's still something else in here. There's still another item. Okay, and that's all that that was for. Got it. <laughs> Back, dog! Stun it! Oh, it's dead. Okay, so the stun gun actually damaged it. Nothing here but ornamental plates. And like, if I can interact with it like that, I don't think I can. There's broken glass on the ground here. Just now noticed. Oh, cause the dog broke through the window, that's right. Okay, well there's another cabinet I can push. Is there another something underneath this? Oh, I see something. Is that another dagger? <gasps> Better, it's more ammo. Speaking of ammo, there we go. May as well reload. <laughs> All right, so let's get out of the room and see if that emptied it out. That did, okay, good. Now this should be the room with the herbicide. And I gotta be careful because I know that there's dogs in it. No, not the cart, not the cart, not the cart, not the cart. I want the plant. Chemical to use on plants. Hello, Mr. Dog. Have fun. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can actually pick up the shotgun right now because I would need another empty space. So I'm gonna leave that be. And since I'm here, there's two gray doors not too far from me that I can check. Oh, they're just, they're just piling in. Yeah, um, okay, let's get out of here, please. Whew, all right. Um, 
So this will lead towards one of the gray doors, but before I do that, it's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the door. <gasps> um, not, not good. Get stabbed or get shocked. You get stabbed. I don't even know where those zombies came from. Unfortunately, I ended up having to use up two defensive items. Uh, oh boy. Oh, what's this say? I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Very. How in the heck? Barry, how in the... Why did you... Barry, why didn't you just give them to us when we... <sighs> Barry. Well, here's another safe room. Okay, so there's some acid shells there, it looks like. And we got ourselves another access to this. Okay, so there's going to be multiple of these. So I'm going to go ahead and stow that. And I'm going to stow the old shotgun away for a moment. No, 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 no. I want to pick up the thingy on the ground. Okay, well, let's start with this flask. Fuel canteen. Okay, I'm not sure what that's going to be for. Incendiary shells. Old boxes and set lacters lie neglected. Incendiary shells. Put those in the box. Fuel canteen. I want to inspect that. You can carry with you fuel to light a few times using a lighter. Oh, oh, that's right. We found a lighter. I just never picked it up. Right. Okay, that's good to know. Well, I'm going to put this away for now, then. And you know what? I'm going to put the ink ribbons away, too. Because these rooms have typewriters in them. So if I want to save, I'll just pull it out of the box. Yeah, I can't save in the dining room without those ink ribbons in my inventory. But honestly, small freaking price to pay. <laughs> Not today, Mr. Grabby Hands. All right. So let's go to the map. There's a room upstairs that I never went through and another room upstairs that has an item in it that I never picked up. I should probably do that since I'm in here and I've already danced around that zombo. So from here, where do I go? Well, two different directions. This will take me... There's no knob on that door, huh? But I can go through here. Whew. I need to turn right, which means I gotta get past this guy. So I've been in this room but I wasn't able to get all the stuff in it. Oh, this is the room with the lighter. Yeah, we'll take the lighter. Is that it? No, that's not it. No but journal. The pages are blank. All right, I need to find whatever's missing. Books on various peoples of the earth. Ammo. There's still something in here. A chessboard card from ivory. The game appears to have ended in a checkmate. Uh, no, I'm looking at that, and that does not look like a checkmate. Both the kings are well behind their pawns. An old-fashioned gramophone. The record is Jupiter. Okay. I'm not seeing where any... Uh, oh! Botany. Uses medical herbs. I didn't see this. I was just mashing the button. It's well-known fact that there exist many plants that are credited with medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been he healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are a native of the Arclay Mountains and briefly outline each of their medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and a distinct medicinal quality. The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that by mixing green and red herbs results in a magnified effect. We will outline the effects of the red herbs when mixed with the other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own, for true knowledge is only acquired through experience. 
Interesting. And that was the last thing I was missing, too. Sweet. Uh, so that tells me, because we found a red herb earlier. So red herbs are explicitly catalysts. They are meant to be mixed with other herbs, such as the green herb. This is good information to have. All right, this door, armor key. Okay, so there's still at least another armor door, but I'm glad I didn't try this door. I don't know if I tried this door before I had the armor key or not. Oh, speaking of red herbs, there's a moose head and a large scratch on this wall. Doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. Ah, joy. That means that there's something else in here. I'm not surprised. Okay, this camera angle is weird. This was the first aid box. Okay. There's nothing in the drawers or on the shelves. These footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. Whoa, 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 whoa. hello. Oh, I can't carry anymore. But like someone took something and then left in a hurry. So what about this box? First aid box. There's nothing unusual. Um, is it just a healing item? Like first aid spray or but better? I guess for now I have to assume as such. That room feels like it holds some significance. Either way, there's some more ink ribbons in there, so that's good to know. And this door is unlocked. Thanks to the lockpick. Barry? Ah. <laughs> Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Barry, why did you lock yourself in this room? Researchers will. The letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the one thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I am sorry. Martin Crackle. I see. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. So yeah, the zombies are really, it's a disease. There's also a fishing hook on the wall, and various types of fish hooks, in fact. An unlocked case full of biological reports. This container is full of dead bugs. Delightful. I want, what about the brain? There's a freaking brain in a jar. I can't look at that. Ooh, and there's a golden firefly. A collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Nothing happens. Maybe it has something to do with the insect specimens. The water tank smells like something once lived in there. Perhaps someone using it to raise some kind of creature. Maybe, but I can't do anything in here without emptying out my inventory. Oh, got it. I need to go back to one of the safe rooms. Ugh. Okay. Well, before I do that... Let's go to that door at the end of the hallway. What's through here? Right now, I am I'm just exploring. Green herb. The dark forest stretches as far as your eye can see. There don't seem to be any houses in this area. I don't think that was ever expected. An unlit fireplace. Not anymore. 
Lines carved into the relief glow red in the intense heat. Oh, yeah, above it. Looks like some kind of diagram or something. I kind of want to see the thing that's on top of the fireplace, but I can't really see it. I have a feeling that I should hold on to this lighter and never put it in the box. Because I never know when I'm going to run into something that needs to be lit on fire like that. Kind of think of it, there was that one dark hallway with the candles. I wonder if I could light the candles. Probably. Okay. So do I want to continue on the upstairs path? Downstairs will take me to an item box. Let's do that so I can get the fish hook. And the bug. Oh, jeez. You are very much in a bad spot for me, Mr. Man. There we go. That's, that's good. He lost his foot. Phew. Surprised he went down with only one bullet. <laughs> okay. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to reload so that I'm at full ammo. And I'm going to put the ammo away. I'm also going to put the knife away because it really is not helping me. Um... Put the first aid box away. I'll keep the first aid spray just in case. Keep the herbicide and keep the key and the... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep everything else. Ooh. But before I forget, let's also say I've got plenty of ink ribbons. I'm about to get some more. And I've found a nice chunk of stuff. So let's save. There we go. All right. I'm going to put the ink ribbons away, and then we're going to continue on. There we go. So, let's head back upstairs. I can get the bug and the fish hook. Just go in the door behind you. <laughs> Actually, hang on. How much inventory space do I have right now? Three. Before I get the bug and the fish hook, let's get this red herb. And there was a green herb not too far from here. Oh, wait. This is the room with the bug and the fish hook. Nope, I don't want to get it yet. I want to get the herb. Hey, where was that green herb? It was in the room at the end of the hallway, I think. So according to that report, combine, and now I've got a um, mixed red and green, which is allegedly a better heal. I'll probably put either that or the first aid spray in the box once I get the bug and fish hook. And I know there's ink ribbons in the other room, but I'm not too concerned about getting that right now. I'll grab them later. After all, I need to come back this way at some point anyway. The lure of a bee. I guess it is kind of a bee. So pushing the button doesn't change anything while, while the bee is gone. And then I take the fish hook. So let's ex let's examine these things. It's a lure shaped like a bee. There's no hook on it. I don't want that. It's a 
lure shaped like a bee with the hook attached. So I am going to be fishing with this, apparently. Either that... Or I put that on with the hook. Negative. Lure of a bee. So apparently there's something I can do with the insect specimens. There's a white lab coat here. Smells vaguely like a medicine cabinet. I never inspected that. Oh! Bee specimen. Assorted fishing lure. They got switched. Are you freaking serious? I guess I can leave the lure of a bee in here for now. But that... Yep. Now, what's this? Oh, hi! That's unpleasant! Uh, uh. Windcrest! It's mine! Go away! Okay. That room's scarier than most of the other rooms I've been through so far just because of the bee. All right, what the heck did I just get? Windcrest. It's like a, a hexagonal... Oh, wait a minute. I'm contradicting wind. It's hexagonal. That door back in the foyer, it has uh, two hexagonal indents. This has to go there, I bet. And there's probably going to be another one somewhere. All right, well, you know what? Um... Since I now have an extra inventory space that I wasn't expecting to have, let's go on ahead and grab the ink ribbon. If nothing else, it'll tell me if there's anything else for me to pick up in this room. There is. There is more in this room. I bet it has something to do with this bed. Because, you know, it says that there's footprints that go through the bed. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what I need to do, but I'm guessing that there's some kind of secret passage underneath that bed. I'll have to solve it another time. For now, I've gotten all I can get. So I'm going to head back to the item box.